Did you know you can leave the second voice after you've followed it? And you can go back over and say yes to the first voice? You don't have to stay with the second voice if you made a bad decision, if the devil has led you off here. Listen, all of heaven is standing at the banisters of heaven, and they're looking down, oh, my God, if he would just get back to the first voice. This happened again and again. Off on the second voice, messed up. It happened to a man named John Mark. John Mark. Paul and Barnabas are being commissioned from the church to go and preach the gospel in the regions beyond. And John Mark has a call to do the same thing. He says, God told me to go with you. And he goes with them, and he travels with them, and the first bit of adversity that comes, he decides to go home. Second boy says, you better get out of here. These boys are there. They're going to get hurt. You better get out of here. You read the whole Bible. The whole Bible, but glory to God, our merciful God. He talks in the last days of Paul's life. He says, bring now John Mark, for he is profitable for the gospel. What did he do? He made a second voice decision, but the grace of God let him go, and then the mercy of God had him move over and get back on track with the first voice. And by the way, the book of Mark was written by John Mark. Mark. He started on the wrong road, but he listened at some point. God said, son, you're destroying yourself. I got things for you to do. Come on. And then he cut across and said, well, I'm leaving you second voice. I'm getting back on the first voice. Right now in your lives, there's all of you in here, so many that, that, that some of you just, just made a decision that's got you going the wrong way. It's got you going opposite of where the first voice had you going. But hear me. You are not hopeless. You are not hopeless because we have a good God. We have a God that doesn't want to punish you. We have a God that wants to bless you. And before you come to the end of the road that the second voice has for you, abandon it. Move away from it, no matter what it looks like. No matter what it looks like you're going to have when you get there. It looks like, well, this is a big mistake. Look what you're leaving. Get back with the first voice, and you watch God move in your life. Hear me a moment. Let's bring this thing home. Let's just, just bring it home. You had the great arise and build not long ago, just a short time ago. You had the arise and build. It was time to make out your card. First voice told you something to do. Second voice says, no, no, you better do this. No, 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 uh-uh. Look, look, you got this, that, and this. You, you better do this. And God bless your heart, some of you listen to the second voice. You listen to the second voice. But you say, what's going to happen? Well, it's not hopeless. God says, come on. Come on back with the first voice. This, this story hadn't been concluded yet. The end has not been told yet. You can move off of that second voice and move into that first voice and do what God told you to do in the first place. Oh, I know that. I know time and again. I, I would sit and I would be writing out a pledge and I would, and I think, no, I'll write this much. And God would say, son, I'll bless you. You will not have a problem getting this if you do what I say. But if you do what the devil says, you'll have trouble getting a smaller amount than you have getting a larger amount if God is in it and God has guided you in that direction. Oh, I don't know if you can grasp what I've said to you or not. I'm talking to you about where the rubber meets the road. I'm talking to you about the things that will make you mediocre or make you great. There's a difference. I, I refuse mediocrity. I refuse it. And how do I stay on track of it? I stay with the first voice. No matter what the, no matter how, no matter how logical it sounds to go with the second voice, no matter how mathematically it works out to go with the second voice, with the first, with the second voice, don't listen to it. God wants to give you a miracle. Just like that couple had that little baby a few days ago, the last to rise and build, they gave what God said. They went with the first voice. And tonight they're rocking a little honey in their arms that would have never showed up had they listened to the second voice. Oh, child of God, child of God. 
Lay hold of this. Lay hold of this. Your best is yet before you. Your best is waiting to interrupt all of the things that are going wrong in your life and bring you into God's best. Oh, child of God, if I could just put it in your spirit, if I could just come sit with you. There's, you know, there was a season when I came first with you, I could sit with all of you and talk about it. But it'd take a year to talk to all of you. But I speak to you as a group, as the body of Christ. You cannot afford to miss God's best by going with the devil's second class.